alligator? A Persian gazelle. I think it would be a bee. It's got to be a dragon, doesn't it? A unicorn. I would say a lion. Uh, a hippo-gazelle hybrid. So this is a giraffe. I would say Sawas is a horse, an Arabian style, fast and beautiful. Huge congratulations, everyone. Today is very much your day, so enjoy it. The most Sawas thing I've seen is people that have got Apple computers queuing up for like 40 minutes to get free food at Hare Krishna. <laughs> In the library, people barefoot. People walking barefoot around the building. Walking barefoot. Got a sandwich on one hand, they're printing their work and they're bare feet, yep. That's very sad. One time we were studying in Senate House and suddenly the King of Nigeria came in and he was just touring Senate House. I feel like that was probably the most sad. Yeah, that was really memorable. Yeah. Well, I think everything is kind of strange. You just get used to it, so nothing is strange anymore. <laughs> All that hard work has paid off. And I know that for some of you, it's been tough. There have been highs and there have been lows. I think if SOAS has taught me anything, it's that nothing is what you expect. I thought you become a lot more accepting and open-minded to all different types of people. Well done, you made it. It's been three long years, but um, you've, you've persevered and you've triumphed. And today is a day to celebrate, so well done. I would say that SOAS has given me a lot of perspective. Seeing different people, hearing their views about SOAS here, it sort of prepared me for that step ahead. So yeah, I don't think any other university in the world could have prepared me the way SOAS has. I just want to wish you all really good luck in your futures. We all know it's a tough environment out there, but you need to have confidence in your learning, your abilities, all the skills that you've developed over the past few years. So my message to all the graduates is congratulations, well done, and you've made us all very proud. I am genuinely upset. I've never been so upset about anything. Of course, I'm feeling quite nostalgic, but I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. Keep in touch with us. Do everything that you can. And we're all really proud of all the things we know you're going to go on and achieve. I'm actually pretty excited to leave. I've had a brilliant time studying here, but it's kind of like an end of a chapter and I feel really happy to move on to my next one. I don't think you ever really fully leave SOAS. I think it's quite an intense environment in a nice way, but I definitely feel like I'm ready to move on. Appreciative, grateful, gratitude actually, that's the main thing. I hope that you've learnt enough skills to interrogate the world, but also to contribute to the positive well-being of the world. Get out there and do it. Be audacious, do what you love to do, and help to make the world a better place. It's like been my dream just walking across that stage, you know, in my graduation gown and making my parents and my family and my friends proud. So it would definitely be really emotional and beautiful. I was a parent once in this very hall 15 years ago attending the graduation of my daughter and I'm remembering this day vividly now and to every parent in the hall, well done and thank you very much. I hope that your years at SOAS have given you a taste of the kind of perseverance that you will need going forward and increased self-confidence. Drop your shoulders, hold your head up high and enjoy every step of the way along the amazing adventure you're about to start. I'm confident that the years here at SOAS will have given you a solid basis for a wonderful future. It's going to be amazing to actually walk through that stage and go, you know what, I can do anything, I've made it, I'm ready for the real world. So go out there and grab life in the way that only SOAS students can. Enjoy today 
Remember to keep in touch with us here at SOAS. We are so proud of you. And make sure you remember to thank your family, your friends and colleagues who have all made this possible.